but ginger. And I'm actually getting a little bit upset about this. And the same with Millen who, dis who dyed his hair and it came out ginger. I'm getting a little bit offended why people don't want to be ginger. What is wrong with ginger? Can we not be ginger phobic? Ginger is beautiful. I have ginger hair. Anyway, so this is how her hair turned I'll leave out. I'll it till tomorrow. Oh, you see. Oh, you know what? I kind of like it. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I actually quite like it, that colour. It's, it, you know, it is unusual. It's like a kind of gingery orange, gingery yellow, sorry. Yeah, so I don't know why she's so upset about it. And what's wrong with ginger? What is wrong with it going ginger? What is wrong with ginger? I'm sick of the ginger phobics. You know what I mean? And they're sitting there blankly telling me how their hair accidentally went ginger. And I thought, mm-hmm, is that a bad thing? Because I've got ginger hair. Have you not noticed? Yes. Stop the bullying, guys. Ginger lives matter. A hundred percent. Oh, shit, got the heat one. Right, let's go on to the next one. We see, um, oh, for God's sake, Sabaiji Jack having a little rant here. I don't know. We're going to share bars anyway. We're going to govern me and princess. How about enough of it? You know, that enough. You know, we're going. You're fucking off, mate. Half. Fucking half, both of us together. Honestly. I'll leave the fucking gas on in this caravan. What? I've had a fucking love. Oh, he's going to leave the gas on. Well, if that, if that happens, then we know that you did it, Sobriety Jake. You know, I don't know with him whether it's an act or if that is his mental health. You know, the way he reacts and things. I don't know if that's really him off TikTok. What do you guys rate? I think. Do you think he's actually really like that or it's just one big act with Jack? Because I... He's got bipolar, right? So bipolar... I know people have, that have bipolar and... I don't know, do people with bipolar act that way? Oh, who sent that? Dave Duran sent me a rose. Oh, I've got a video of you, Dave Duran, which we'll be playing on the FYP. Thank you for the rosy type bastard. <laughs> he sends me a goddamn rose. Oh, well, thank you very much for the gifts, guys. <laughs> and thank you, Dave, for that one rose. Appreciate it. Right. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> I don't know with uh, the sobriety, Jake, whether it's an act or not. You know what I mean? So let's go on to the, the next video. And this is actually why you're here, Dave. Actually, I want to uh, play this one because this one is off you. Where is it? Let me have a look at this one of Dave. Right. So if you don't know who this guy is, this is, um, what's his name? Fiddly. F Fiddy. Fiddy. That's his name, wasn't it? Yeah. So I went on with this Fiddy, right? He was trolling me, but I was actually trolling him. It was quite funny. In the, when you make the application for MZ's Kitchen, you have to say you are drinking, you're taking something. I said, I take everything. <laughs> Sorry, not fiddly. <laughs> do, you have a, do you have any advice before I go into the kitchen? Yeah, it is um, to make sure you know where the door is. Make sure she don't lock you in there because you don't want to get locked in there. You don't want to get locked in there. Uh, make sure, make sure you're, you, you know where your drink is at all times. Make sure you hold your drink. Because that she has got, you know, for putting things into people's drinks. Oh, it's just hair, so I've only heard that. What do you mean putting something in the drink? I will have a heart attack. Yeah, yeah, she might, yeah, well, she's got a bad name for that. I don't know, it's just hair, so, you know, just make sure you have your drink with you at all times. All times. Because, you, you know, you know, yeah, make sure you have it all their time, because you don't want to be, woo, woo, woo. You know what I mean? Yeah, so Freddie came on, he was really funny, he came on, I've never met him before, and he came on and um, and he, he was trolling me and, you know, with this old, you know, this old man's filter and, <laughs> you know, everyone in the comments, it's a filter and she's a filter, like I didn't know, of course I knew, I was trolling him. <laughs> I mean, that's stupid. <laughs> 
I just play along. <laughs> but he's really funny anyway. So um, yeah, I don't know. I've never seen him on that before, but it was a it was a laugh. <laughs> Pick up Fiddy, the name, and it. He was saying it's his son's account. <laughs> Anyway, there's this one with Dave actually to say it, uh, with Fiddy as well. Let me play this one. Where's the one with. D Where's it gone? Oh shit, have I deleted it? Is it that one? Oh, here it is. The nurse's very nice. The nurse is very nice in hospital, brother. What the hell, guys? The back end of the table is human. Oh, is it? Oh, this is so. What sort of treatment is this, brother? <laughs> it's cold. You're charging? Old age, ear, nose, heart palpitation, infection. No, brother, you are just. You are just recharging. <laughs> oh, it's hurting my ear. I got to. I got to. <laughs> I got to ring the nurse. <laughs> oh, brother. The nurse. I knew somebody was going to say that is is that too far. I knew that would be um, <laughs> for all the snowflakes out there. Yep, too far. This is disgusting. Oh, my God. You're pretending you're dying. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> He's quite funny, isn't he, Fiddy? Where do I get that old that filter? I did try and look for it yesterday. I couldn't find it. Uh, yeah, well, unfortunately, you get a lot of snowflakes. Let me just put snow uh, snowflakes in them for fuck's sake. Uh, smiles in. Hey, Fiddy! Is he in the... He's in here. <laughs> Hi, Smiles. Oh, where's she gone? Uh, smiles, I'd put you in. Where are you gone? I wish he's gone anyway. Yeah. It was a laugh. That was my dad. Oh, of course it was, Fiddy. <laughs> Mary just put smiles in. It was, it was... It was his dad, guys. Hello, smiles. It was a mistake, and I pressed the wrong bloody button on my phone because it froze. Oh, right. It froze. Oh, okay. and, I no and I couldn't jump out because it froze, so... Oh, okay. Apologies. <laughs> All right, see you later, Smiles. Right, later. guys, I want to show you the next one we're going to go with is Sam Walker. So, right, let me have a look at Sam. So this is Sam's plans. It's so we can get all the paperwork sorted to get it to England. But you don't mind, because then I can actually enjoy myself. I can actually just, we're going to be in a nice villa. Just enjoy ourselves, fucking. She'll be able to go on fucking runs. I'll be able to go fucking and enjoy myself as well. Take on walks, no hostile environments, and it'd just be good just being able to live life a little bit. Because I've not been able to live life properly for the past six months. It's all been business slums and fucking everything else, and like doing stuff in the How slums. dare you not like Sam Walker? Get out! No. Where's he gone? I've not really been able to live my life, even though it looks like. And I, I, I think my passion is a difference. There's a difference because what I do in the slums is my passion. That's what I love to do. That gives me my fulfillment. But <laughs> there's a difference between having your fulfillment of what gives you a purpose, but then being able to live your life. Because fulfillment doesn't necessarily mean enjoyment. Do you think he dies? Do you think he dies his bed? <sighs> Let me have a look. Do you think he dies I've it? I've not been able to live life properly for the past six months. No, he definitely dies his bed. Definitely, yeah. Yeah. So let's go on to the next one. I think it's about Sam. Well, I have all of Sam. Oh, can we put trigger warnings up, guys? Now, I want to know who's been threatening Faithy. Who has been threatening a goddamn dog? I want to know immediately. It's trigger warning, guys. Thank you. Tell them I promise I'll get, I'll get them in the ground, lad. Tell them I promise I'll get, I'll get them killed, lad. I'm going to fuck. Tell them if he ever threatens Faith again, I will get him put straight in the ground. 
Pull it up. Where's the other ones, lad? Who, who else threatened her? Sorry? Who else threatened her? No, you know, the guys we are working, you know, the guys we are working through the yeah, cops. Them dickheads in the thing. Is are any, are any of them there now? No, you know, we, we, we are exercising. So you see, me and Faith, we are exercising. So he just said, say, if you bite me, I'll slap you. That's what he said, but... Well, look, I'm back next week. Okay. I'm back next week, so tell him. I, I deal, I'll come and see him myself when I'm back. But tell him, in the meantime, be okay, friends okay. Faith again. Tell him, okay. promise him, I will put him in the ground. If I don't do it, if, if James, if me staff and James don't do it first, I'll do it when I get back. And I promise you on my fucking brother's ashes, I will put him in the ground and be friends Faith again, lad. Just tell him that. Okay, okay. No problem, sir. Right. Yes. Um, he knows what happens to fucking that that one. That, in fact, I'm not going to go into it. But anyway, just tell him. Just okay. When and he when he comes, maybe Mister Sam, I will not be sitting here. Anybody bully that dog? I will fight the person to life. Trust me. I know you will. I, you do good job, Nixon. Yeah. So anybody anybody says you bully that dog? Trust me, I will fight the person life. Yeah, yeah, but just that security, lad. When I get back. Okay. He's not going to be working there, lad. Okay. I'm going um, to make a little example of him when we get back. Okay, okay, sir. Okay? Because um, I'm going to watch the name of the day I'm back, before okay. I see Faith. Okay. First thing that I do is... Okay, we are, can, you are seeing Faith, right? You are seeing Faith, right? Yes, yes, you're doing a good just, job. We just, we just exercised this morning, so we, we are running from down, down there up to the gate, so we are now resting. After a few minutes, we are going back to the, to her apartment. Yeah, 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 good, good. Yeah, thank you. Who's the one who said you kick, lad? Yeah. Someone said you kick Faith as well, who was that? No, hey, nobody kicks, nobody kicks her. I won't, yeah. I won't, I won't allow that. Anybody says you oh. bully that door, I will just fight the person, though. Yeah, yeah, good lad. Just... Nobody, nobody can do that, sir. Yeah, that's baby, that, 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 Yes, sir. that, 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 but I think when it comes to, you know, animals for me and children, I think you take a different attitude, don't you? Do you know what I mean? Um, and if somebody ever threatened my dog or did something to my dog, I mean, you'd want Sam on your side, wouldn't you, really? Um, you know, yeah, but animals are like children. And that's, you know, I don't know. I'm not a, one of those violent people, but when it comes to that, so it's kind of, you just... Um, you know what I mean? Yeah, you do. You do belong in the ground. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's disgusting. Anyone would even threaten a dog. What a sad world we live in. It really is. Poor Faithy, but she looks. She, she looks a lot better though, doesn't she? But does anyone has anyone noticed that since Sam hasn't been around, she just looks. Been around, she just looks a little bit scared. I don't know if anyone has noticed that. But play. and another thing, can I just say, you know that dog, man, it fucking eats. What the hell? Have you seen what it eats? <laughs> it's massive plates of food. That's what Rob was saying in the video. Yeah. Do you think it's just because she's missing Sam? Yeah. So the thing is, you know, um, <clears throat> where he is in Africa, they don't treat dogs like they would here. You know, even with, what's his name, Teddy, and he's, he's an amazing guy, he's a vet, and he's, you know, and I'm sure he is amazing, but even him, probably, he, even him, he don't treat the dog like probably Sam would. You get what I'm saying? Because to them, they're, just, they're dogs and animals. But to us, they're part of the family. Yeah. When is our Sam back with them anyway? With her, sorry. Because I don't know, even, is he still on an island or what? Next week, oh brilliant, oh that's nice. Yeah, and they're gonna do that road trip, aren't they, to Spain? Next week he hopes. Why is he, why next week though? I mean, what's he doing? Yeah, around the 10 hour, well that'd be amazing. 
so listen i'm with sam on that one do you know what i mean anyone that's threatened threatens or touches or touch someone that hurts an animal do you know what i mean they do long you know they do need to you know get smacked up oh <laughs> i don't i don't condone violence guys no sorry that's just what i was thinking that was just what i was thinking <laughs> So there's another one. I've got quite a few videos of Sam Walker today. Oh, oh my God, this obsession is really bad. Oh, for fuck's sake. He's probably, honestly, he's going to think, oh my God, I'm going to have to double lock my doors tonight. All right, there's Sam Walker again. <laughs> I'm like a master man, for fuck's sake. So Sam Walker responds to people accusing him of staging the attack. So, you know, that I, I'm not going to lie, I even asked her, I said, do you guys think it was set up? Was it real? Uh, <clears throat> so, could we do a poll, guys? You know, when Sam Walker was robbed, what do you think? Let me play the video and then I'll uh, let you have your say. Turn this off. Live for, and everyone was coming up on our eyes, Sam, blah, 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 waiting to see where it was. Checking the location, and they'd pull up in cars or whatever. And then, so I'd not got to speak to anyone, and then within that two hours, and then what happened is that guy had come up behind me, like for, where he's obviously checked the location, and then come running up behind me. So when I see a couple of people saying that video was staged, it couldn't possibly be staged because we're on live for two hours. You've seen it. It's like um, we were on live for two hours, so it couldn't possibly have been staged. So it's just a case of because I've been live for that long, random people come and say hello, and then it obviously just fall right to baby as yeah, I'll try him. I'll try to have such a nice chilled walk, and then boom, that happens. And that's the thing, and that's what can happen in life, man. But it's like literally, because where have we been? We've just seen our little 10 year old kid, haven't we? On the steps, you come up, and his mum and dad were on the live. So we'd seen him, then we walked around the corner. That's how you know it couldn't have been stays because we walked around the corner and then up a little bit. And about 20 minutes later, bang, he comes running at me. It's like, you couldn't write it. But obviously, because people only see like a little short clip of me talking and then someone running behind me. And then obviously the little scuffle and then I'm saying, come ever to have it, lad. They're only seeing that f a clip not knowing that we'd be on live for two hours do you know what I mean so I can half understand a couple of people that would think that but it's um as I said I'm just happy that I've got a little the elbows in that's about it it's swollen <laughs> You don't present to me quote, but I'm not the type of person, even more so if I think someone's doing it for clout. I'm not the type of person, so if, I, if, I'm, if I'm live, so like here now, we're at the Mal, Mal, Mandarin Hotel. So this, this what's this hotel called again? It's called, not the Mandarin, Skyland, Skyland Hotel. Like I, I, I don't know, I don't know, but at the same time, I'm not the type of person. These people, I can see these people on, on, online. Oh, f hell no. That, uh, we all we'll go to the death, or you'll have to f hate me and knock me out. And that is it. Because if anyone had me on video like that, I'd be like, okay, well. At least, at, at least they carried on going until they got knocked out. Or you did not see, you're just no way on this planet. I'd allow myself to be one of them people that would become a target with some dickhead for clout. Absolutely not. No chance on this planet. Yeah. So, you know what? When I was watching that, when he was attacked, okay, so he was on um, live for two hours. So I didn't know that. So I, I just asked people a question because, you know, people were. We're saying they some people saying they think it was an act. What I didn't understand is when he was attacked, why didn't he run after the guy? That's what I didn't understand because he'd just been attacked. Yeah, I think he he fell to the ground, he slipped or something like that, and he got up. Um, he was he was saying let's have it, let's have it, guy, let's whatever he was saying, let's have it, let's have it. But he didn't run after him. And no, he didn't because he was on social media. He was still on, so he went back on social media. So I just. That's what I didn't understand, and I just thought because of the person he 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 is, 
Um, I thought he would, have, you know, fuck social media, be running after him. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So that's what I don't understand. So anyway, let's do a poll, guys. Um, happy face, you think it's real? Sad face, you think it's an act? Let's have a look. Uh, da -da. Okay, happy face, it's real. Sad face, it's an act. What do you guys think? Huh? So you think it's real? It's hard to know with social media, isn't it? I don't think he's that kind of type of person, to be fair, to, um, you know, to stage things for goddamn clown. <laughs> you know what I mean? There you go. There you have it, guys. It's people have voted it's real. Um, I, I do. I am surprised someone with you know his background and, and who who he is is on social media. To be honest with you, who is on TikTok? Because I think I had this um this conversation not so long ago that I have said someone like you know um someone some big gangster probably wouldn't be on t uh, social media on TikTok. And then you got Sam Walker <laughs> using TikTok. <laughs> oh, big up Sam Walker. He's a legend. I I, I do like him. I think you you probably discovered that already. <laughs> and we'll have all the Sam Walkers. <sighs> Agree, yeah. Mm hmm. Huh? And there's life in. Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, he's been there, done it, hasn't he? I mean, you know, this is why he, you know, he gets. I, I assume it gets arrested all the time because he's always showing his location. He, I mean, he's got a warrant for his arrest, hasn't he? If he was to come back in this country, back to the UK. Do you think he'll come back? This is... Yes, it is FYP. It was on the FYP, Alicia Manson. How dare you? This, we know this rob's a rob. Right, and we'll be talking about Miss Red in a minute, guys, um, as she's got her opinion on the... And I don't want to have a big debate about the rob thing because we, we've had that already yesterday. But I'm just going to play her opinion on the rob situation. Sam play, uh, plays why are you so obsessed with me when he thinks of it. He does not fuck off. Does he really? <laughs> Get out of here, does he really? <laughs> Shut up. Does he? Does he? Does he really? Can someone answer? I'm joking, I'll okay. <laughs> So I'm going to play, um, how long is this? Okay, five minutes. This is Miss Red's um, opinion in regards to Rob. Now, I don't, like I said, I don't really want to have a, a huge debate on this because we already had it yesterday. So let's just play her opinions on it. We know this Rob's a wrong guy and he's said some racist things. He's been derogatory as well. Oh, no, I don't have to show you guys. She's just sitting there. So he's it. made quite a few sick jokes, you know. Uh, but let's be honest and let's keep it real. And they know better, you know. And mm -hmm. has got that man True. there and she knows exactly what she's doing. She knows that this this having this guy here is going to bring abuse mm -hmm. uh, she is continuously uh baiting him on the live she's bullied him uh mm -hmm. this guy is still a wrong girl but it doesn't condone her actions now can i stop this video when she said wrong and let me just put this on because it makes me look, look make, it makes me look so much better with the light on <laughs> um him be, she she calling him a wrong and now we don't know if he's a wrong and now i played i've had this conversation yesterday and um and i've heard the videos of what he said now yes he was he did say the n-word okay yes race he was racist 100 uh, percent in regards to the children i've played the videos over and over and over again there's no indication right that what he said was referring to himself or um you think oh my god he is a wrong one by what he said now this is what we have had uh, discussed yesterday when he was talking about old boys going with uh, uh old men going with boys he was talking about the church okay so that's what i was told because we only sh uh, saw a little clip of it i asked some people to please send the whole thing and if you're going to put things on the fyp guys why even just record the clip I'd, I'd see me personally. I like to see the whole thing because I want to know what the what they're talking about beforehand for him for the person to be be saying what they said, and that's my question about the Rob. Why is he talking about old men goes with young boys? What was the conversation? How did it start? So people told me on here that watch that live, watch that bit. Um, they were talking about the church. Okay, so when I listened to that video, and I did hear him say church. 
so when and i don't know why he was talking about it okay um but anyway that's what he was talking about um so i just missed that video because i i just thought no i'm not gonna have an opinion on that because in my eyes he hasn't done anything wrong he was talking he was stating a fact okay so that wasn't about himself so how is he a wrong and for that number one okay and then so then you go on to the next bit which i played over and over I slowed it down i played it like 20 times on live and what we got from the next clip of when he was talking to brett he said he was talking about a video right he goes um something like i'll sh i'll send you the video video later um and then i couldn't remember that what he said then after that because um ems i think pushed him out of the camera at that point so because brett was talking over him so we couldn't hear it so god knows how anyone else heard what he said the, the next word and then he said um children right so so many people said to me and i still couldn't really make it out what he was saying when he said talking about children but a lot of people said what he said was not for children so people um that watched that live said to me that they got this uh, assumption that he was talking about um a um uh what's it a corn video with him yeah and i'm gonna make we're gonna basically make a video i'll send it to you later not for children but because everyone's heard children everyone's just run off with oh my god and i'm not gonna lie i went live in the morning and i thought that's what he said as well and i thought no 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 listen i've got dark humor but no matter what you don't talk about children like that never that's you just don't cross that line it's disturbing you you know if someone said that to me in a joke you know um i'd be like no 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 mate you need to get your devices checked why would you be talking about children in that way and i said that this in the morning yesterday but then i played them over and over again and realized that actually we don't actually know what he said but like i said people were saying to me not with children and i do agree with that from what i have heard okay um when em's pushing him out of the the, the camera i think what it was is he was talking about a, a, a corn video with her yeah it's not for children basically just saying it's not for children it's an adult video um so anyway everyone's just run with it but he was racist so um that's what i got from that uh, you know listen i don't understand why miss fair can sit there call this guy wrong and based on because he said the word children you've really got to have the whole context behind it now you know if if you're a man right can you imagine being accused of the of something that's so unthinkable like this because you've just said the word children people need to get a grip you've got to have context behind it you've got to hear the whole conversation you know you've got to well i mean was he joking about you know because i thought he said video children all i heard yesterday when i was had my opinion yesterday was videos and children but when i replayed it he didn't say that okay and um and i played it 20 times just because i didn't want to get it wrong okay but the only thing i didn't hear is when brett was talking over him when she pushed him out of the camera but he said and a lot of people had said it that watched that live not with ch not for children it's so an adult video that's what he's talking about okay so let's not get it uh, uh, wrong so anyway let me continue the um the miss red video um and I'd like to know what Miss Red heard. I would like to know what she heard as to why she thinks he's a, he's a wrong -un. And well, listen, I say wrong -uns, I don't mean pedlo, but I assume Miss Red is thinking wrong -un is something to do with that. So yeah, I'd like to know what she heard. Like you could see um, slapping him or punching him or something like that. Uh, she uh, waits for him to approach her and then she'll kind of mm -hmm. like, you know, she'll That's be like, true. do you get what I'm saying? No, she I'm not having this she... debate, guys. I'm not having this whole debate when I'm put, putting people in the boxes. But, but I'm just discussing Miss Red's opinion because I don't think it's fair to be uh, calling someone a wrong one um, when you haven't actually, when I had to play it 20 times. Doing, she, know, she knows what she's doing. And like I say, he's a wrong gun, but she's also um playing to the audience she's had this guy there she, he's been in a bed naked she's leading him on and then when he comes to her and you know he's a bit provocative with her she's like do you get what i'm saying 
She's just as dangerous. It's all pretend outrage from a guy, you know, she's got this guy in a bed, giving him mixed signals, he's naked. Um, you know, we've seen his uh, birthday suit a couple of days ago. Which I believe she's done that deliberately. Just, just playing on the whole situation. She's dangerous. I'm sorry, she is. All for views. I think she made about £1,200 in, in sub, sub money alone. But with the things that he's saying and, you know, people fearing for her safety, it's the it's the audience that I feel sorry for, you know. I, I do. Listen, I just think people are snowflakes. I know you mentioned the like, chainsaw. I mean, listen, if there wasn't a story, you'd probably find it quite funny. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't see it. That, I don't think it's that deep. That bit. To be honest. I feel sorry for our audience because it's <laughs> triggering everybody, and I hate using the word triggered. But it is. It's triggering a lot of people. But she don't give a as long as she's got them views. She's got someone to blame. You know, where there's a blame, there's a claim. As long as the gifts are rolling in, as long as the subs are rolling in, it's all she cares about. The police are allowed to to keep you safe if the police feel like there's going to be some kind of commotion or a threat the police can do whatever they want they can return yeah well listen you might not find it's fun it's not funny because it's an actual story you know what i mean but um listen i think there's a lot of snowflakes did, did you get what i'm saying look i said the other day someone asked me where my mum is she, i said she's in the garden you know <laughs> you as long as they think they're keeping you safe and they're stopping a situation <laughs> from escalating they can do whatever they want you know uh, and at that moment i'm glad that the police shut the door on you because you would have gone out into that hallway caused a commotion um and put the camera on the police just so you get a few more extra views uh, the police did the right thing well, it's gone nuts. Lock the door through away the, away the case. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, I think the only dangerous person is her. Until the next person's in the kitchen, and it's going to happen all over again. And we're going to be back. That'll be Fiddy. Fiddy's going into the, the kitchen next, guys. With the next, the next person victim. that'll be in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, police are going to be called. You know. How many times has it happened? I think this is probably the worst. Right, so what I believe the police should do is um, they should go to the local council or housing, housing association where she rents from and they should be able to get a injunction to stop people going to a flat because let's, let's be honest, it's... I don't think they can actually do that. It's wasting emergency services time. It's not fair on the neighbours. Uh, so what should happen now is the police should go to the uh, council or housing authority and get an injunction uh, to stop people being allowed in the flat after a certain time. Mm -hmm. Not not for her safety, not just for her safety, for the people that are entering the, entering the flat as well. Because no matter who comes out of that kitchen, they always end up the villain. <laughs> I thought she was going to say that it's finest. I thought she was about to say that it ended up dead. <laughs> is all it is. In my opinion, um, she um, has people in the flat, usually the most controversial, the better. The more, the, the more bad things to say, the more bad behaviour that they've got is perfect for her. Uh, she's had him round there and she has been... Uh, giving him mixed signals, having him in the birds while he's been naked. And then when he touches her, she's like, she's like that. Mm -hmm. uh, she's been saying that he's been abusing the dog, you know, pinching and stuff like that. And he hasn't. What he has been is racist and said disgusting things about children. Basically, he hasn't said disgusting things about children, Miss Red. He has. I've played it 10 times. OK, he spoke about a church, right? old men the boys okay that was a fact that is a fact number one and the second thing he said he said about um a a, 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 a corn video with m's not for children please replay those videos miss red because if you cannot hear it you're you're actually slating a man for something that you can't even hear because I had to play it over and over again and it's really unfair what you're doing with 5k on your platform to be saying that I'm not saying he's innocent. Maybe, maybe he is guilty for whatever it may be. But I'm going by what I saw, what I heard, sorry. She has been... Uh 
giving him mixed signals, having him in the birds while it's been exactly. naked. Exactly. Miss Red, please. She's, uh, please she's play like, those videos. She's like that. Uh, she's been saying that he's been abusing the dog. You know, pinching and stuff like that, and he hasn't. Well, he has been his racist and said disgusting things about children. And basically, it's a wrong gun, but it doesn't make her any better because she has been bullying him. You know, uh, we've seen on videos reflections where she's hit him, slapped him. She turned the camera away and she slapped him, uh, constantly going at him. Um, yeah, so the both as bad as each other. But the one thing I will say about her, she does love that dog. You know, uh, I'm not going to take that away from her. You can see that she loves the dog. However, she's not thinking about the dog when she's having all these people in the flat. Yes, you said about children, but not the way they're saying it. And one day could potentially be somebody that did gen genuinely want that's going to damage someone's life. Do you know what I mean? So the dog's in the sun. You've got to have it right. You've got to get it correct. She's right? letting these random weirdos in a flat around her animals. And that's it. Because I don't know about you, but my animals are like my babies. You know? Uh, yeah. And, and it can happen so easy. They leave the room. You know, they could do something to your pet. And by the time you come back, you're not going to know it's, it's happened. Do you get what I'm saying? And so this... Right. So, okay, that's a Miss Red's opinion anyway, but I just hope she, she replays uh, those videos because I, I don't know what she heard. But I didn't obviously hear what she heard when he said something disgusting about children. I didn't hear the same thing. And I had to replay it so many times because it was even hard to hear. And I think it's really damaging. It could damage someone's life, what people are running with. You've really got to get the the correct information. And there's there's not that, that information that I heard is not there, what that they are running with. Um, okay, right. So let's talk about Hayley Comet, right? Because she said some... Um, uh, things in regards to the M situation, and let's have a look. Don't tell that um, Hayley Botany in comments that she's gonna get um, spoken to by the police. It's not the first time that she's done that, and the police have warned her about putting up false information. And now she's gonna get done again because what she's put up about Rob, that's not true. By the way, she's gonna get done again. So I'm not sure if that's gonna be a warning or if she's gonna be arrested for it. But since she's already had a first warning over something, I'm assuming she'll be arrested for it. Okay, so hey, um, so I got your message, and when we talk about putting out false information, um, I've never been warned by the police in any matter at all. So that's obviously not right. I don't know where you got inf that information from. It may be you're referring to one of the times that you've been warned by the police for being drunk and disorderly, um, because you've got us both confused. And secondly, if the police ever did come to see me, I would just show you the videotapes of your elderly boyfriend. Um, now that okay. is a lie, because because uh, to my knowledge. My opinion, now I say, because I don't want to be putting misinformation out there like yourself, Hayley Comet, you have been warned by the police. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I'm not saying that as a fact. Saying that he'd killed someone with a chainsaw. And there you go. How could it be slander when he said it himself? Have a nice evening. Um, the thing is, it can be slander because it's social media. He was intoxicated and... Um, he was also under the influence of some sort of substance. Um, you also know it's, it is it is also social media. But um, what you're saying is that he's a very dangerous man. Or well, let's play what she had to say. Let's have a look. Let me find out where it is though first. Permission of the victim in this case, his daughter. Now this is Erin, as everyone knows, off the app, and right now she's spending time. In so already you've 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 basically said he never the thing is it is slender and i'll tell you why Haley comet is um i think i should be a criminologist yes because um what rob england did is he spoke about that weapon we all know what what the weapon he was talking about but he never referred to himself to josie and that story he never ever said anything about josie the story he didn't say the location he didn't refer to himself as in that as being at that scene at that you know that scene as to what happened he never said that you did you have said it um you said that uh the victim being josie um but he never ever said that no he didn't what he said was is that he got he had gone to uh, prison for 10 years he, he was found guilty which he wasn't he was not found guilty and never went to prison either 
um, that he went to prison for 10 years um, and then he said something about, you know, the chainsaw and a block of flats. He never referred to Josie, okay, um, on his live. So, but what she is doing is referring to him, you know, and Josie, oh, one sec, one sec, where's it gone? If that makes sense. Yeah. Hi guys, so I'm making this video with the permission of the victim in this case, his daughter. Now this is M's, everyone knows his daughter. Yet. And right now she's spending time in bed and in her house with a man. He never friend. ever linked himself with Josie on live, ever. But Hayley Comet has. Dangerous. And he has admitted that he is very dangerous himself. So what actually happened? So 28 years ago in Burnley, this happened. A teenage girl was being there you go. The she has linked him to that crime. The bedroom of a tower block of flats. Now, this happened in Burnley. This is from the Lancashire Post, I believe, this article. You can find it on Google yourself. And a 17-year-old girl, and it's believed to be two men, actually lured the victim to a block of flats where they actually murdered him and then dismembered his body with a chainsaw. Now, cut forward to today. So a 17-year-old girl spent two and a half years in prison for this. Uh, she took the full blame for herself. But it was always believed at the time that she would not have been able to carry out this level of brutality by herself. Now, Ems has spent time with this man in bed over the last couple of days. So she basically, when she's saying it's not slender, it's very much slender because she's linking this Robert England to that crime. Right, to that crime. Now, um, Robert England did mention a chainsaw. He did mention he'd been in prison, which we know now was also bullshit. Um, he never, ever linked himself to that crime. He never said anything about Burnley. Well, he, not that I saw anyway. I uh, could be wrong there. But he never said anything about having links to jo Josie or any uh, anything about this case. But what Hayley has done is, is linked him to this case because of what he said. So that would be classed as slander, in my opinion. Okay, let's go back to the thingy, Bob. Hi, guys. So I'm making this video with the... Oh, you can find it on Google yourself. Now, cut forward to today. So a 17-year-old girl spent two and a half years in prison for this. Uh, she took the full blame for herself. It was always believed at the time that she would not have been able to carry out this level of brutality by herself. Now... Ems has that never said that in the article, in by the way, over the last couple of days. And he himself, which I'll play you a clip in a minute, has said he did something pretty brutal years ago. He's boasting about it. Now, this is Ems in bed with his He's guy. not boasting he about, um, is he boasting about it or is he just talking about chainsaw and block of flats? <laughs> you know what I mean? Is, is he boasting about that crime of Robert England, Robert Fisher? That's not his real name. And everyone is obviously really concerned that Ems doesn't make the best decisions for herself. Now, he got away scot-free with the crime he committed and there may be some chance in the future there you go he got away with the crime he committed did he commit that crime Haley? because that would be considered slander regardless of what he the little Justice, because things he said on tiktok online in front of thousands of people boasting about what he did let me show you a clip there you go sorry trigger warning guy he's also said he'd been in prison now we know he hasn't been in prison so he made that up so he could possibly make be making the whole thing up because he was not found guilty and he didn't go to prison. So how was Haley Harley, whatever her name was Haley, even linking him to even that story? So it would be kind of considered slender. Well, that is all right. Let me break that. I've got this person. I'm talking about the class. What? Well, I don't know what the chainsaws. Yeah. No, we do that. I don't think you'd be stupid enough to come on social media and be like 1990. I did this, did a crime. I just don't. Think. Bro, people would have clipped that. So that's that. So anyway, um, so yeah, that is very, uh, very much a slender um, Haley comment because he never really linked himself to Josie and that crime at all. Um, so let's see, where are we? What's our next clip? Uh, I love the FYP, you know. Let's see what we're going, where we at, where we at. Sam, what would I be now? Done that, said that one, that one. Oh, so I played this one last night, right? I'm going to play it again, right? 
So this is because obviously she wants me to play it on my FYP to get some attention. I'll give her a little bit of attention today, but I won't be talking about her after that. So if she can talk about me some more afterwards, I can't be bothered. But this is I'll give you a little bit of limelight, Scale Slayer, and I'll replay this video that you said about myself. Happy Sunday. I hope that whatever you are doing today goes smoothly. Um, goes to plan and if you're struggling please reach out it's okay not to be okay i will never understand why people go out of their way to sit there and be so horrible and derogatory towards people doesn't matter if that person's a good person a bad person controversial person someone who's considered to have some respect on this app. Being derogatory is not acceptable regardless of who it's towards. Not only have you been derogatory towards several communities. Um, the... Can you show me the evidence? Because people have played a few ev evidence. That's not derogatory, whatever that fuck. No, I can't say that word. That is not the same. I have seen a couple of videos, but that's not race. That's not hate crime love. If it was, I would have been arrested. So, yeah. Black community, including. I'm not being a racist to, uh, towards the black community because I said the word boat does not make me a racist. Make minority communities, including um, the LGBTQ community. No, LGP never been a. Um, uh, what's that word? What's that word? Transphobic. That's it. Never have done that. And I'll tell you why. Because what you're going on, because I said about the toilets, that I wouldn't feel comfortable with a, you know, well, I don't need to go into it. We know what I said. Um, that is not being transphobic. That is my opinion. That's how I would feel. Okay. Um, so where's your evidence there? So that's not true. Including the trans community. Very direct. Oh, because I called um, Sanka, I said to EQ, at least I'm a real woman. Yeah, I stand by that. I stand by that because she was um, going in on my looks. And I turned around and said, at least I'm a real wo woman, because I think she's fake. She's a face fake ass bitch. Yes. That's not being transphobic. I wasn't talking about her gender. Rocketry, you always speak to your mum like absolute garbage. Show me the evidence I've spoken to her like rubbish. I want to see the evidence. That you have not got. Well. I really don't see how... Um, she might, might be talking about when I had a hangover one day and I phoned her on my phone and asked her to shut my door and go and get me a pillow, blah, blah, blah. It was banter. It was clearly a joke, love. Just like you thought Lynn's taking her son to the riots was real and you did a FYP on it. Go and find your sense of humour. Go and find a personality. Because seriously, I've never known a snowflake like it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's... <laughs> crazy honestly she actually believed Linz took her son to the riots it, we were having banter just like i was having banter with my mum when i was saying can you shut the door and phoning her can you bring me a pillow like i was dying it was what you call banter um maybe you should try and have it sometimes and get you because what you're doing is spreading so much inf uh, misinformation across the app. it's unreal focus on yourself because believe me you need to focus on yourself Towards me is not acceptable, regardless of who it's towards. Not only have you been derogatory oh. towards, I really don't see how it is ever acceptable to speak to an elder and your parents the way now you're discriminating against age. Just because my mother is older, she's not elderly, by the way. She'd probably uh, tell you to piss off for that one. And, um, yeah, she would have a lot to say about that one. She don't class herself as elderly, number one. <laughs> number two, you're <laughs> that's discrimination right there. But delusive, and you have recently and multiple times in the past. Yes. It's, it's a known fact that... At least I don't go for people's children, I'm like, uh, like yourself. Everybody has a good relationship with their parents or their family. And that's a crying shame. It really, really is. 
But in my eyes, and in, in my opinion, that's still not an excuse to... Um, it's, uh, it's not an excuse, not talking about my situation here, but there are uh, kids that are abused by their parents. They nearly 50 years old, speaking to somebody, an elder like that, and not paying your way. My bills is none of your business. Go and pay your own bills. Concentrate on your own life. Concentrate on your own family. You know what I mean? Stop being obsessed with mine. We've really. all heard how frustrated how upset Angie's mum was in that clip. Oh, when she just said she wanted to die. Yeah, she was intoxicated. She says it every time she drinks. <laughs> Believe it or not, she does. She says it every time she drinks. I want to die. I want the angels. Gets religious and all of that. That's what you call being intoxicated. This woman, I swear to God. In the multiple clips. The poor woman's at breaking point. The Observer, providing you with the latest TikTok drama from across the UK.